Of course, the king of misdirection and hate is Donald Trump. Look what he compared police shootings with. Trump compares cops who shoot civilians to golfers who miss putts. You can't compare murder to golf. When a golfer misses a putt, innocent people don't die, or the Ryder Cup would be fucking horrific. Get it right, Rory! Get it right! Think about what you're saying. America is broken, and it's his job to conjure words so powerful they heal a shattered land. But instead, Trump talks like this. Protesters. You know what I say? Protesters, your ass. I don't talk about my ass. You don't talk about your ass. Can you imagine any other world leader talking like that? Angela Merkel, what do you think about the economy? Man for China, it's my business! He's almost beyond parody. I really got into that, didn't I? It's, he's almost beyond parody. I mean, check out what he claims is the new public enemy number one. Cans of soup. Soup. And they throw the cans of soup. That's better than a brick, because you can't throw a brick. It's too heavy. But a can of soup, you can really put some power into that, right? <laughs> soup. So let me get this straight. Guns are fine, but soup... <sighs> That's scary. Here's an idea, Donald. If soup's so dangerous, why don't you arm the police with it? Maybe then, innocent Americans wouldn't be killed by people whose job it is to protect them. Now, over in America, they've got other problems. At least 30 people have died in wildfires that are engulfing the western coast of the United States of America. Thousands of homes have been lost. Many dozens of people are reported missing. I'm 55 years old and I've never been homeless. Lives and livelihoods swept away in a flash. I've seen videos, but it's a thousand times worse than I could have ever imagined. Death, destruction, despair. So, what did their president do? He denied climate change. If we ignore that science and sort of put our head in the sand and think it's all about vegetation management, we're not going to succeed together protecting Californians. Okay. It'll start getting cooler. <laughs> I you wish just, you just watch. I wish science agreed with you. <laughs> hey, well, I don't think science knows, actually. <laughs> what a fucking moron. <laughs> and I'm told, I'm told we can go live to Greta Thunberg. How can you disagree with science? You're poisoning the planet, you orange fuckwit! <laughs> Thanks, Greta. Now, of course... She's got funny eyes, isn't she? Of course... <laughs> of course Trump disagrees with science. This is a man who looks directly at the sun. This is a man who doesn't know how to close an umbrella. This is a man who suggested dropping nuclear bombs to divert <laughs> hurricanes. He wanted to fire a nuke at the fucking wind! <laughs> How's he gonna stop wildfires? Put this guy in a bazooka? <laughs> His bullshit knows no end. Here he is talking about forest management. You go to other countries, you go to Austria, you go to Finland, you go to... Uh, many different countries, and they don't have... For, I, I was talking to a head of a major country, and he said, we're a forest nation. Right. And what did this head of Austria or Finland say to you? He said, we have trees that are far more explosive. He meant explosive in terms of fire. But we have trees that are far more explosive than they have in California, and we don't have any problem, because we manage our forests. Yeah, it's all about forest management. It's got nothing to do with the fact that Finland's average temperature is five <laughs> degrees Celsius. <laughs> and this year, the temperature in California's Death Valley reached 54.4 degrees Celsius. That is so hot, it could even make this guy sweat. <laughs> Good joke, right, Greta? Yeah, it's good, it's good, it's good. <laughs> it's not just climate change. It turns out Trump knew all along how dangerous coronavirus was. Donald Trump intentionally underplayed the impact of coronavirus despite being aware of the danger it posed. That's according to Washington Post journalist Bob Woodward. I wanted to always play it down. I still like playing it down. Yes, sir. Because I don't want to create a panic. 
There is no need to panic. You people are going to be absolutely fine. Don't worry in the slightest. Roger! Get my private jet ready! You people they are going to be absolutely fine. Robert doesn't care about anyone but himself. He knew how deadly the virus was, yet his rallies still look like this. President Trump held an indoor rally. No masks were required. The Washington Post obtained video of his staffers removing stickers from chairs. These stickers encouraged social distancing. It's astonishing. No masks, no social distancing. What else did he make him do? Sneeze on each other and fuck a bat. <laughs> it's so frustrating. 200 thousand deaths and Trump still won't promote masks. A lot of people don't want to wear masks. There are a lot of people think the masks are not good. Yes, there are. And most of them are fucking crazy. I am not a sex slave that wears masks. <laughs> right. We are being lied to. Our freedoms are being taken forever. And I will not be muzzled like a mad dog. Okay. <laughs> I don't wear a mask for the same reason I don't un wear underwear. Things gotta breathe. Yeah! It's a false narrative. And when you wear a mask, which you can certainly do, you are further pushing the agenda that is condemning all of us and keeps us living in a state of terror. If only there was something we could put on her so she'd shut the fuck up. <laughs> well, there was only one news story that everyone was talking about this week. Peter Crouch hides in his office to eat frazzles so he doesn't have to share them with his kids. <laughs> what a monster! <laughs> I'm joking, we all know the big story. The virus that's ruined millions of lives got COVID. <laughs> <laughs> it was everywhere. This is a Fox News alert. We are interrupting our normal programming. Big breaking news coming in. We have breaking news out of the United States. U.S. President Donald Trump and the First Lady Melania test positive. The Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Ladies and gentlemen, it got him. He got the Rona. That motherfucker got COVID. <laughs> yes, he did. The internet went crazy. Some accused him of self-medicating. <laughs> Mary Berry had a pop. And my mum was absolutely gobsmacked. I can't believe he's eating frazzles on his own. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, doctors are tracing everyone Trump had close contact with, which is terrible news for this guy's asshole. <laughs> I just can't believe Trump caught COVID. I mean, he's always taking it so seriously. The coronavirus. I think that at some point, uh, that's going to sort of just disappear. It will disappear. It's going to go. It's going to leave. It's like a miracle. It will disappear. This is going to go away without a vaccine. It affects virtually nobody. <laughs> it affects nobody? Then why did you go to hospital and have to cheat to say this? Don't let it dominate you. Don't be afraid of it. Which is easy for you to say, you've got more doctors than a medieval king. <laughs> it must have been tricky for the medics. How do you know whether the virus is affecting his brain? He's not exactly coherent at the best of times. Criminal. It's absolute. A lot of renovation. Thailand. Statistics. Logic and cephahide. I mean, Christ! In an attempt to show that Trump was fine, his own daughter tweeted, nothing can stop him working for the American people. Relentless. The only problem with that, he was signing a blank piece of paper. <laughs> I can write my own name. Relentless. Look, as I wipe my own asshole, unstoppable. <laughs> I've actually got that paper after he finished it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see what he did when he was at his most contagious? It is vintage Trump. A mini parade. Oh my gosh, I love you! I'm in a pandemic, when he's infected, in a packed car. 
I'm highly infectious. Road trip! <laughs> what could be safer than sitting in a car with a COVID-riddled man whilst all the windows are glued shut? <laughs> it's like a fucking Corona Dutch oven. <laughs> What else did he get his staff to do? Lick his door handles and swim in his piss. <laughs> but amazingly, the people he drove past love him. And I mean really love him. Oh, my God, how are you? Oh, my God, there he is! There he is! God bless our president. I will die for him. I will die for that man happily. I will die for him. Well, <laughs> your dream may yet come true. <laughs> well, it appears Trump has made a miraculous recovery. Trump's back on the campaign trail in front of a packed crowd in Florida with few masks in sight. His doctors claim he has a clean bill of health. Maybe I'm immune, I don't know. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> One thing we do know, he has been hitting the drugs hard. He is now on dexamethasone, which, as anyone who's been on a steroid can tell you, causes mania, causes psychosis. <laughs> Which is science for his office tits. <laughs> Listen to his message for pensioners. You're not vulnerable, but they like to say the vulnerable, but you're the least vulnerable. But for this one thing, you are vulnerable. <laughs> you're not vulnerable. You're vulnerable. And they think that makes you vulnerable, and that's why they are vulnerable. <laughs> oh, God, Tom, it's really good! <laughs> the drugs. They haven't just messed with his head. Look what they did to his skin. He's gone from this to this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. He's like he's been covered in Dorito dust. <laughs> of course, even the girls on towel would be like, I think you've overdone the bronzer, babe. <laughs> and yet Trump has the temerity to say this. I'm back because I'm a perfect physical specimen. Perfect physical specimen. Yeah, if that specimen's a clinically obese Satsuma. <laughs> it's not. Nobody is walking into a plastic surgeon's asking for the Trump. <laughs> I want tiny hands, man boobs, and lips like a cat's anus. <laughs> Doctor. <laughs> Doctor, I want a face that makes vaginas gip. So, <laughs> favorite, favorite joke of the show. So, at Trump's rallies, is he wearing a mask? Is he social distancing? No, he's offering to do this. I'll walk in there, I'll kiss everyone in that audience. I'll kiss the guys and the beautiful women and the... Um, everybody, I'll just give you a big fat kiss. I'll lick the women. I'll sneeze on the babies. <laughs> I'll lick your granddad's nooksack. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. I was really grinding into that. <laughs> but when he wasn't infecting his own voters, he wouldn't stop banging on about one particular drug he took. They gave me Regeneron. Well, I took the Regeneron. Regeneron. We have Regeneron. Regeneron. It's called Regeneron. Why is he promoting that? Could it have anything to do with the fact that the president had stakes in Regeneron. <laughs> Jesus, I'm surprised he didn't make an advert. <laughs> Are you suffering from coughing, high temperatures, anxiety about the future? Maybe it's time to try Regeneron, a totally unproven cure for COVID-19. But don't listen to me. Listen to this unbiased expert. You know, I wasn't feeling so hot. And within a very short period of time, they gave me Regeneron. It's an antibody drug. You take it, and it beats the hell out of it. You're going to get better. You're going to get better really fast. Try the new totally unproven cure for COVID-19, endorsed by a president who had shares in our company. <laughs> Side effects may include slurred speech. Cephahide. Inability to pronounce countries. And Tanzania. And hatred of insects. I don't like mosquitoes. Who does? Regeneron. It's better than science. <laughs> it sounded so great, I've actually got some. Let's see whether it's any good, shall we? Pop this down here. Mm. <laughs> 
feel great. I feel like a perfect physical specimen. <laughs> what is it with Trump pushing drugs? Remember the start of the pandemic when he was trying to flog this? Hydroxychloroquine. Try it. Hydroxychloroquine. What do you have to lose? Your life. <laughs> Trump's advisor, Dr. Fauci, one of the world's leading experts on infectious diseases, said this. Hydroxychloroquine is not effective in treating coronavirus disease or COVID-19. Which is science for shut the fuck up. <laughs> Poor old Fauci. Every time he's near Trump, you can tell his brain's melting. I happen to feel good about it, but who knows? I've been right a lot. Let's see what happens, John. There's a very low incidence of death. So, it's 13 days to go until the US election, and Trump has been on the campaign trail. Did you see him revealing details of his hospital stay? I think he took part in an orgy. I had so many, I had 12 doctors around the bed, and everyone was grabbing a different part of my body. <laughs> it was like... It was like getting pleasured by an octopus. <laughs> I don't know if it's the drugs he's on, but his campaign strategy's really changed. I can now jump into the audience and give you all a big kiss, the women and the men. I'll, kiss, I'll even kiss the men. I'll kiss those big, powerful men down there. I won't love it, but I'll kiss them. I'll kiss those men. I don't want to, but if I've got to, I'll kiss every goddamn bit of them. <laughs> Listen, Donald. If you want to kiss them, then there's nothing wrong with that. Don't fight who you are. <laughs> I mean, you already dance like you're beating off a couple of invisible blokes. Well, he wasn't giving out hand jobs to ghosts. He was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Which is my uh, my new album. He's <laughs> he was discussing what he'll do if he loses the election to Joe Biden. Could you imagine if I lose my whole life? What am I going to do? <laughs> I'm just saying I lost to the worst candidate in the history of politics. I'm not going to feel so good. Maybe I'll have to leave the country. I don't know. He's going to leave America. Where's he going to go? <laughs> Nobody wants him. And how is he going to go to other countries when he can't even pronounce them? Production to Thailand. Tanzania. Nambia. By Venezuela. Puerto Rico. China! <laughs> I want a one-way ticket to Germany. It looks tonight as if Joe Biden is edging ever closer to the White House. But Donald Trump isn't going down without a fight. He is claiming, without evidence, that the election is being stolen. This is a fraud on the American public. This is an embarrassment to our country. A fraud? To count ballots? That is not what is going on. Joe Biden has won more votes than any presidential candidate in history. When the count is finished, we believe we will be the winners. Will it be Grandpa Simpson on Coke? <laughs> or Grandpa Simpson on ketamine? <laughs> One thing we do know, the final week of campaigning was hilarious. Trump accused Biden of everything. Joe Biden will shut down your economy. Increase your taxes. Ship your jobs to China. Indoctrinate your children. No school. No Easter's. No weddings. No Fourth of July's. No Christmas. No Thanksgiving. No graduations. No future. No air conditioning. No heating. No electricity. Other than that, you're going to have a wonderful life. <laughs> so desperate. No birthdays. No rainbows. No cakes. No blowjobs. <laughs> You go for Biden, he'll kill your gran and fuck your dog. <laughs> he, he was literally begging for votes. Can I ask you to do me a favor? Suburban women, will you please like me? <laughs> and how did that go? He's a pig. 
Uh, if he walked up, he's, he's a, a pig. He's we a call pig. it a pig. Uh, if he walked up to me and put his hand anywhere, he'd get knocked out. <laughs> he steps to me. He's going to A and E. She wasn't alone. Some women would rather have piles than a Trump presidency. <laughs> How did they find that out? So, Donald Trump, are you a fan? I'd rather have lumps hanging out of my asshole. <laughs> You're down as a no. <laughs> Did you see how packed his rallies were? Four more years. They'll be lucky to last four weeks. It was <laughs> so reckless. According to a Stanford report, Trump's rallies may have led to 700 COVID deaths and 30,000 extra cases. He risked their lives to talk shit. I mean, did you hear his campaign slogan? It wasn't exactly new. It's called Make America Great Again, Again. <laughs> Who was his speechwriter? Mickey Flanagan. <laughs> <laughs> if you have to make something great again, again, then you fucked up, up. <laughs> All Trump seems to have done is call Biden names. Joe Biden, Sleepy Joe, 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 you sleepy guy. <laughs> Why didn't Biden hit back? There's so many names he could have called Trump. The bullshit bandit. The White House wants it. <laughs> the orange cunt. But <laughs> do you know there are options? <laughs> America is so divided, and yet Trump had the arrogance to say this. I've done more for black Americans than anybody, with the possible exception of Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> he ended slavery! You've promoted white supremacy. You've tear-gassed innocent Black Lives Matter protesters. Christ, when Colin Kaepernick took a knee to protest for black rights, Trump said this. Get that son of a bitch off the field right now. Out. He's fired. He's fired! And when he wasn't attacking black people, he was accusing every Muslim of being a terrorist. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. They have no respect for human life. I want surveillance of certain mosques, OK? The only problem with that, Americans are more likely to be killed by lawnmowers than foreign terrorists. <laughs> Forget mosques. He should have banned streamers. <laughs> he should have built a wall around this place. <laughs> He's such a bigot. In fact, the only person who reckons Trump isn't racist is his own son. And his reason why was comedy gold. Donald Trump Jr. says his father cannot be racist because he let him hang out with Michael Jackson. <laughs> hang out with or hang out of? What? <laughs> what an excuse. How can my dad be racist? He let me hang out with Michael Jackson. Bill Cosby, <laughs> R. Kelly, all the good guys. <laughs> I've got to go. He's got me an art class with Rolf Harris. <laughs> now, now, over in America, it's been a mad couple of weeks. Initially, it looked like Trump might have a chance of winning the election. Some of his fans were dancing like pissed aunties at a wedding. <laughs> Others focused on their pudding. I'm sorry to interrupt your ice cream. No, that's fine. And this guy was so happy, he froze. OK, let me put that to Jack Kingston. He's uh, a former Republican congressman, joins me now from Alabama. Great to talk to you, Jack Kingston. Well, well, well. What do you make of this? <laughs> but eventually, it turned out Joe Biden was the victor. I pledge to be a president who seeks not to divide, but unify. Who, who doesn't see red states and blue states only sees the United States. So, did Donald accept defeat graciously? If you count the legal votes, I easily win. You easily didn't, you childish bitch. Now, luckily, his supporters were there to help with the counting. In Arizona, they demanded this. But in Michigan, they wanted this. Stop the count. Stop the count. 
Stop the count. Count the stop. Count stop the... <laughs> it got better. Did you hear about the Four Seasons fiasco? Donald Trump's defeat was announced while the president was playing golf and when his campaign was setting up in a gardening firm's yard just by a sex shop and a crematorium. This was incredible. Trump wanted his lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, to challenge the election result at a high-profile event. But instead of booking the Four Seasons Hotel, they booked the Four Seasons Total Landscaping Centre which is next to Fantasy Island Adult Books, a shop which is currently holding a sale called Dildo Madness, <laughs> which might explain this guy's face. Well, 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 what do you make of this? Now, over in America, it's all kicking off. This morning, alarming COVID numbers all across the country. 250,000. The number of people who, according to NBC News tracking, have now died in this country from the virus. We now know more than 19,000 people have died just this month alone. So, what's the president doing about it? Yesterday, as world leaders discussed pandemic preparedness, Mr. Trump hit the golf course. Turns out MAGA stands for Massive Asshole Golfing Again. <laughs> and it was his own course. That is insane. You tell me nobody broke in and took a dump. Come on. Even the animals are getting involved. <laughs> Those holes will be full of more shit than Fox News. Listen to their idea for naming the vaccine. Why not name the vaccine the Trump? For the same reason we don't name hospitals the shipman. Trump <laughs> had nothing to do with it. He was telling people to inject bleach. And to be honest, they can call it what they like. Some people won't take it. Like this preacher, he's got something more powerful to protect him. I don't have the coronavirus. I'm not going to get the coronavirus. I'm not going to give anybody the coronavirus because I can't get it because I've talked to God about it and I've taken my vaccine and my vaccine is Psalm 91. I am free from that mess. So what happened? He caught it. <laughs> Over in America, the tiny-handed bullshit machine spoke to the nation. This may be the most important speech I've ever made. So, was it about COVID, a plan to reset the economy? What do you think? This election is about great voter fraud. Fraud, 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 outright fraud, 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 fraud. It was about fraud. Was it? Some of his excuses were ridiculous. The Democrats had this election rigged right from the beginning. They use the pandemic, sometimes referred to as the China virus. Yeah, by you, sometimes referred to as the tango twat, but continue. How, <laughs> how did they use the pandemic? As an excuse to mail out tens of millions of ballots, which ultimately led to a big part of the fraud. No, people wanted to vote remotely so they wouldn't die of COVID. Anything else? It is statistically impossible that the person, me, that led the charge Lost. You don't know about statistics. <laughs> you can barely pronounce it. Statistics. <laughs> you lost the popular vote by 7 million and the Electoral College by 74. Read those. <laughs> by the end... <laughs> by the end, he was just rambling. I have a lot of friends in Detroit. They know it. <laughs> I've got a lot of friends in Bristol. What's your point? There is no one happier right now than China. <laughs> I don't know. What about this guy? Hey, buddy, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know why he's so happy? He nicked this guy's teeth. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't just Trump. Did you see his press secretary displaying the evidence? We are fighting new lawsuit today. Where is the evidence? Right here, Sean. We have been granted discovery. I have three binders, literally hundreds of pages. We have a number of affidavits. Read through some of these affidavits. 234 pages of sworn affidavits. All of the circles are different ballot numbers. They're startling, Sean. She's having a breakdown. <laughs> How long before she's like this? I've got these. <laughs> A lot of fun. Your hair gets... I don't know how you do it, ladies. Your hair gets everywhere. So, 
<laughs> so, the, 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 so, so. <laughs> I was like, I kept doing that to get it right. <laughs> so, is all this bitching working? Not really. Look what happened when Trump paid for a recount. The Trump campaign requested and paid $3 million for the partial recount. In the end, Joe Biden increased his lead by 87 votes. Donald Trump effectively paid $3 million to increase Joe Biden's lead. <laughs> <laughs> I speak for everyone when I say, ah. <laughs>